So like my library music is always played in 4-4. Yeah. And I thought, that's, that's crazy. So we started playing it in 5-4, 7-4, 7-8, you know. And it's... wonderful way of just And it's, uh, yeah, what a great composer. But anyway, I think with Dollar, if you look at his life, his music always reflected the period that he was in. So Ishmael was when he converted. And he always thought of his composing like that. So he has pieces like Tuan Guru when he was discovering Islam. And I, the, the, the First, the A section was in this uh, Eastern mode on my mind five. Um, and the bridge was for this Western release using ninth chords and thirteen, and that was political for him in a way to, to combine those things. So I mean, Abdullah and those guys of the era, um, Kibi Mukherjee, and to a lesser extent, but um, 
U.S. and Canada all had sort of an activist uh, approach to this. It was beautiful music, but it had a particular mean, political meaning. Um, you know, do you think your music going forward from now, uh, uh, you want it to have a political meaning? I mean, if I if I listen to you play sort of the Malian sound, incorporating it to sort of with your sort of Southern African jazz, I'm thinking about you know how that can be uh, an effort towards the decolonization process. You know, getting North Africa, you know, incorporated into this um, Southern Africa. But I mean, do you do you feel like that, or is this just it just happens for you? You just play this music um, because it's nice, because mm -hmm. it's um, new. Okay. Yeah. So think about that. For me, making the decisions to make music using the elements that I am could be seen as a political decision. That's not my. That's not the impetus for it. Because I just find it. I find it very interesting music to study it and then to play. Um, and again, I'm totally flabbergasted that nobody else does that around here, that's strange. Because um, as I said, in, the, in our country and through the rest of the continent, we have so much music. And if you really want to distinguish, distinguish yourself in the world of so many artists, I mean, where we are today, um, there's never been more jazz graduates from universities around the world than ever before in history you know, of, of mankind. So you've got thousands of new jazz musicians coming through school every year. And so what's going to make you that in the maybe 20 that actually make it to, to have a performing career? You know? so, so I kind of think, oh, what's nobody else doing? Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> you know?